All right, so let me tell you what I mean. I put some worksheet on Mathematica here, on calculator, to help us with some of the grunt work. <clears throat> so the sine expansion is the one we uh, we all uh, we've done before a few times, several ways. That's this expansion. That's the sine expansion. Now to get the sine of square root of three, uh, sorry, square root of x, you just go in here and substitute uh, x uh, instead of x. You exchange that for the square root of x. And that would give you an expansion like this one, square root of x, x to the 3 halves, and so on and so forth. And this would be approximately equal to sine of the square root of x. Okay? Um, I say approximate because there's really more th stuff here. There's, it's infinitely long. And so, again, this integral is really, really hard to, to find. Uh, this one, uh, from 0.3 to 0.7, is nearly impossible. However, this one is very, very doable. You can put it on a calculator or do it by hand if, if you've got nothing better going on this weekend. Just do it by hand and then you can get an, an answer and that would be an approximate answer. And and that and I did it here up to, I did it one, two, three, four, five terms. I did it five terms and I got an answer that's close to this, very, very close to that. Um, you can see how this would change uh, if we were to change the level of accuracy. So if I change this expansion to say something like, uh, I don't know, 3. Okay. Well, say something to like 3. And that would give me a different one. If I say something like 2, well, that would give me, so you see the answer is changing. Every time I make this polynomial shorter, the approximation for my sign is not as good. And so, uh, if I make this one, it'll be really terrible, degree one. It's, it'll be 0.28. And so, the idea is that this polynomial is not as good as, say, for example, if I make it to the 10th, this would be the 10th expansion to, to 10 terms. And that answer right there would be really, really accurate. Um, that's, that's what this means right here. It means that, uh, you know, um, this one is nearly impossible but the, the polynomial one is actually incredibly easy. That's a powerful exchange rate between functions and polynomials. All right, enough of that one. I think, uh, I think we've explained that one. Let's go on to number five.